you were a trader at Goldman Sachs. Yeah. And so you managed a lot of chaos. Yeah, you talk, exactly. talk on the phone the other day, we talked about how decisions and you know, profits and losses came by the second they did. You know, throughout the day. So transition into a chaotic environment where you're dealing with so many different people and areas mm -hmm. probably felt almost, you almost felt at home in that kind of chaos. Yeah, definitely. What, what I found is that you're, you're still juggling a lot of things. And really, Goldman prepared me very well for that and trading prepared me very well for that because you're literally sitting in this environment where it's it's trial by fire. I mean, sure. the the action is happening fast and furious. There's a million things going on. You, you have two phones and someone's screaming at you from <laughs> across the room and the screens are flashing and you know, it's money. It's real money on the line. So you're right. dealing with all these things. And so really in in comparison, most other things are actually quite slow. Right. <laughs> you know, um, and, and don't have the immediacy of, um, of profit and loss. So it, it really was a capability to kind of take a step back, mm -hmm. um, which I really appreciated. You're still doing a ton of things, but they're, the timelines and the deadlines which you're working with are not 30 seconds to a minute. They're, you know, a few days, a week. You, you have the ability to kind of plan ahead and sure. get things done, whereas when you walk in on a, on a trading desk, days that you think are gonna be completely quiet and laid back tend to be when things explode right. and vice versa. You walk in thinking, oh, you know, a million things are gonna happen and you're sitting there all day doing nothing.